Their lives simply will not be complete this Christmas without all the trappings of outer space. Sci-fi does get the center aisle in toy stores this holiday season. Star Wars and its imitators are playing Can You Top This in the world of R2-D2 and all kinds of oddly named creations. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Weekly. As always, I'm Robo, and uh, yeah, it's another retro commercial. It's Christmas time, it's the holidays. I get a little nostalgic. It's hard not to go back and look at pictures of, you know, toys under trees, and I remember opening things, and then going, ah, Dad, you have to put these together, and put the batteries in, and put the stickers on, and then I can play with them. And how I'm still getting toys for <laughs> the holidays. But that's okay. That's one of my major factors of collecting. It's, you know, remembering times past or something I like in physical form that I can mess with and put how I want and make my own story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I collect. Plus, it's just fun to look at the constant barrage that's heading our way at all times. You knew I'd get that in there. You know, like last week when Fresh Monkey Fiction gave us, uh, a sneak peek at their Naughty or Nice 2022 collection. This week, we get the full reveal. Why, you ask? Because their 2021 collection is hitting Big Bad Toy Store right now. What better way to celebrate the acquisition of new plastic than to commit to more future plastic, right? That's how it works. Spinning and spinning spinning. Now when they showed the first wave last year, I thought that is clever reuse of some of those base bodies. What could they possibly do to impress me further down the line? And they went and done it. In fact, they went and outdone it. Like I said, last week we talked about Mall Santa, who looks like he's had it up to about right here with the spooled brats asking for way too much stuff. Get out of here, kid. If that tickles your general demeanor, there's also F around and find out Santa, whose line was crossed three ponies ago. Bring it! Another creative reuse is the Goblin King, who looks like a nice foil to the good guys in the line. Notice it's Mark Naughty, because he's, he's a bad guy. <laughs> he's backed up by the Gremlin Nutcracker and Christmas Gremlins, who also work as army builders with their swappable heads. <laughs> Maybe they could battle Father Frost, whose lore I'm unfamiliar with. Shut up. I know, shut up. But I am really, really digging the foosh blue uniform with the white trim. The North Wind goes foosh. Maybe Julie and Tommy can be his elf backups? <laughs> there was a tease that turned out to be Great Northern Santa, who does bring some new sculpt to the line, plus some just extra manliness. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm sorry, Canadians. I had to do it. <laughs> Speaking of new sculpt, though, what about some nasty Krampus? Yes, there's parts pulled from last year's version, but some nakedness to up that nastiness. Come here, I got something for you. Those new parts allow for my favorite of this wave, probably my favorite of the whole line, and that's Barbarian Santa. This is just brilliant with the headgear and the pelt and the reindeer axe. I just love everything about this. I've already talked about figures in this line pulling double duty where they can go onto other shelves, but this is leading the charge against Thanos, Cobra Commander, Megatron, wherever you want to put them. Don't tell me you wouldn't lose composure with this big burly bastard barreling down on you on a battlefield. Santa, ho! Various prices set up like last year's crowdfunding thing where you go to Big Bad Toy Store, pick which ones you want, and then if a certain level is reached, they're unlocked, they become reality. So if you're the least bit interested in any of these, go ahead, put your money down, put your pre-order in right now. That way we can get things unlocked and we can have pretty, pretty plastic for the next holiday season. Because if it doesn't fund, you're not out anything. So. There's no downside. It's been a very slow burn for the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze Kino this year, but it seems in the past couple of weeks, things have ramped up a bit. First, there was a digital render back in January. Then just last week, there was a physical copy tease where we learned that he comes with a scooter. This week, we get NECA's 12 days of downloads. That's where they take a collection like the TMNT movie figures and shove it all together into a big old picture. And there, we get to see a fully painted version of Kino in his scooter. It's right there. Look, enhance, enhance. Quick glance, I think this is the only figure on the whole image that doesn't have a proper reveal yet. So it's gotta be around the corner, right? If they're putting it on this. If it's here, 
and painted, it's got to be soon. I would think. For me, like I said last week, I'm not into Secret of the Ooze, but it's Ernie Ray's Jr. It's a pizza delivery. It's a scooter. I gotta have this. I'll put it with my movie One Turtles and be happy and joyous. Ah, toys. That doesn't mean NECA didn't have a proper solicitation this week, though. I think this had already been revealed, but now you can pre-order the Universal Monsters Ultimate Phantom of the Opera. It comes with a robe, a cane, a hat, several sets of hands, and five heads. Robo don't know Phantom of the Opera. Comparing this to Stills Online, it looks damn close, but as a casual Universal Monsters kind of guy, window shopping toys, I'm thinking... Why is his crotch so high? Purely from an action figure standpoint, it looks like the rubber overlay is sitting slightly high, giving him long legs, waist up here. But again, that may be correct. It's still a good get for the Universal Monsters collectors. $38 due out next August. Remember a few weeks back when both Bandai and Good Smile Company put out their own versions of Chainsaw Man? Same deal this week with Power. Na 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 na. First, the Figma power looks like a solid figure. I mean, the character is a female in regular clothes with long hair. All banes of the action figure manufacturing world. Trying to get the articulation and everything straight. But again, Good Smile seems to do a solid job. Unmistakably Figma, which is a staple of Figma figures looking like Figma. Where am I going with that? I know that sounds obvious, but they have their own style with the slight softness to the sculpt and then the smoothness to the various joints. You can look at it and go, yep, that's a Figma. Includes various hands, three faces, her cat Meowy, along with blood knives and hammers. And if you order directly from the Good Smile store, you also get a bonus blood scythe. So that's kind of neat, but I've never ordered from that store, so. Around $70, scheduled for August. But as I mentioned, Bandai popped up with their own SH Figure Arts power, and maybe I'm biased, because I do buy a lot more Figure Arts than I do Figma, but I, I just think this looks better. That's just me. That's my opinion. I just prefer the SHF aesthetics, the sculpts, the paints, the joint integration. For the most part, hold on. For me, this is just more expressive overall, and it's not because she comes with four faces, which is one more than Figma. That's low-hanging fruit. I'm talking about the movement, the flow, the action, and maybe that comes down to photographers, their presentation of the promo pics, but that's what's selling the figures. And even in neutral poses, it just feels a lot more natural. And again, things like jackets and long hair can be problems when it comes to that department, but that was addressed by both companies fairly well. The Bandai does have the jacket hanging off the right shoulder, a lot more prominent than the Figma, and that does cause some problems because it's segmented plastic. You get too action-y, and there's just air, there's space, there's gap. That's just nature of the beast when you're working in this medium. Plastic has to give, or has to be split. But it's also a toy, so uh, yeah. Again, four face options, there's swappable hands, there's also Meowy, and the same weapons array as the Figma. Really, it comes down to your own tastes and preferences and bank account, because this is $55, releases in June. McFarlane Toys continues their slow and steady DC Multiverse reveals this week with another Batman. I know there's all kinds of jokes to be made here. Another day, another Batman, a fistful of Batmans, a Batman with no name, even though his name is Batman. I, I screwed up my own joke there. Despite what some want to believe, Batman sells and companies are made to make money. So... Batman. I mean, I sure as hell don't buy all of them, but you have to admire the dedication. Plus the Arkham Knight Earth 2 Batman is just a cool visual. And I'll say the same thing about the Mega Fig Dark Knight's Metal Abominus plus this, what is this called? Fulcum Abominus. It's a cool visual, and I'm saying that again because you know that's what Todd's saying during the pitch meetings. It's cool, it's sexy make it. Without doing any kind of research, because you know that's not my style, I'm guessing this is some kind of evil robot that was put together to fight the Justice League, because the various design elements and color schemes are there. It's just, oh yeah, there's Justice League. <laughs> that or somebody made robots for each member who form into a giant Justice Gestalt or something. Either way, cool visual. And these just add to the big pile of DC multiverse reveals over the past month or so. 
there's gonna be a hell of a lot of pre-orders on the horizon. If this is your main line, start saving your pennies. Mezco started eye twitching this week because it's been three weeks since they did something Rumble Society, so another Atticus it is. This time around, it's glow in the dark, which plays into the whole Necroverse theme. Mystic Mist, the Eye of Mordred, the Medusa Hand and Nebulous Claw. I like the Medusa Hand because it freezes time and space. It plays into the whole, it, there's a reason it's called the Medusa Hand. The Elena Alashri. The Blade and Flames of Zion, the Shackles of Haster, the Cindered Palm. You'll go blind if you keep doing that. Are you sick of this gag yet? <laughs> I joke, but it really does look like a fun set. I really, really like the portal effect where you can plug a piece onto the arm and then the hand goes on another piece that you can set away from the figure like it's teleporting, kind of a whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, if I would gotten this, I wouldn't be able to decide which version I'd put on the shelf. The Cthulhu look or the Atticus Doom look. Notice I used past tense though. It's Rumble Society. It's already gone. But at the time, it was $100. It looked like it was in stock because it said buy now. So, yep. Seems like I missed a little Super 7 Transformers Ultimate! Seems like I missed a tease last week, so we're swinging back around. A kingly crown worthy of a grand coronation. This is bad comedy. Easy, Mr. Judgy. When I saw it, I thought maybe we'd be getting Galvatron, but Wave 5 is actually King Starscream Fallen and reformatting Megatron. And while the cracky grayscale Starscream is not as iconic as Dead Optimus, I'm kind of coming around to it, especially since they re-sculpted the head to do that kind of crumbling effect. Or it's at least something I didn't know I would kind of sort of want. <laughs> because it's not up here, but now that I see it, it's kind of, oh, well, that's kind of neat. Same for Megatron, reused body, but painted up to look like he was mid-transformation going into Galvatron. Not perfect. It's not quite the inner workings look we got as it... <laughs> But it's a lot closer than the Hasbro R.E.D. version. I've been seeing the online chatter about how this line is dead because of the amount of reuse or the dwindling number of figures per wave. It was four and then three and now two. But I look at this as breathing room. Super 7 is behind in a lot of departments. So while they work on that, they're offering easy things that will be a quick run through the factories or maybe this is the death nail who knows either way again like i said i like that star scream a lot more than i thought i would and it's something that i don't have in my collection that doesn't seem to be offered from other companies so it's a neat little one-off moment in transformers history that i would like to have in plastic form. $55 estimated fall 2023 release. Little bit more Transformers news. 3-0 announced that their next MDLX figure will be Starscream. Lots of Starscream love. I can dig it. If you don't know MDLX, it's 3-0 spin on the original 80s designs where they take cartoon nostalgia and wrap it up in a lot of modern flair. And Starscream opens up a lot of possibilities. You gotta think Skywarp and Thundercracker won't be too far behind, considering that they reused Bumblebee and Optimus Prime for Cliffjumper and Nemesis Prime already. And I don't even mind because 3-0 figures are like butter. They're just smooth, they're silky, they're creamy, they make anything better when you add them to it. I may be kinda hungry. 3-0 figures good. That's what I'm trying to say. Over in the world of Hasbro Star Wars Black Series, there is a figure that we knew about and had seen, and then a figure that we knew was coming but hadn't seen yet. Starting with the obvious, here is the Target exclusive Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary retro carded Gamorrean Guard. First try, yeah. Let's hear it for the boy. Basically, this is what we already have, just wrapped up in a big old nostalgia tug. Getting a close look, even the eyes are the old blue dot with smaller black dot. From what I understand of photo reel, when the sculpt gets that deep, like the eye sockets are sunk behind the nose and everything, the process doesn't work, or well, at, at least that's what I've been told. There's also the price. It's a bigger figure, it's an exclusive, it's in the vintage type carding. You knew it was gonna be higher at $33.99. To play devil's advocate, 
The original was also a deluxe figure, Target exclusive, and that cost $29.99 back in 2018. Sure, we saw sales later on, and I grabbed a couple of extra <laughs> when that came around, but considering all the other price hikes this year, the amount of price hikes, this one doesn't seem as bad. It's not as hard to swallow as the GameStop exclusive gaming grades Republic Commando Scorch. This rings up at $27.99, which is not as much as the Gamorrean Guard, but the GameStop site won't allow me to add anything to the order to get free shipping. Plus tax, that's carry the knot that's 40 bucks so i'll wait this out pick it up when it releases add in a couple of things that will be available at that time get my free shipping because i'm not a big republic commando guy but i love finishing a team i have the others and i know in the majority of their appearances probably more than the majority which more than the majority either way a lot of the time they're bigger and bulkier but with these new parts on here, it does kind of add to it a little. Plus, I like the color scheme. So, there is all that. Basically, I'm a trooper guy. Give me the trooper. Finishing off the weekly, another Marvel Legends reveal and pre-order. Didn't we just spend over a third of the last weekly talking about all the Marvel Legends reveals? Ooh, well, if I gotta... I think we somehow already knew about the Amazon exclusive Ronan the Accuser. But I like to treat each new reveal with fresh eyes. We get all the information. I can make an educated judgment call because that's what I'm all about here. Educated judgment calls, not just looking at new plastic and going, wow, that looks great. If you're new to the channel, you don't know any better. I'm joking about that because whew, just looking at pictures makes me. Plus I'm terrible at keeping track of the leaks and teases and, and just names and show me pictures that's when it locks in now we've already had a couple of ronins in the line one from the movie and one from a more modern appearance which was a build a figure but older hasbro so it wasn't great i'm doing this a lot today it was okay at the time but it's outdated at this point this new one is more up to current standards even with the pinholes and i can hear you all the way from here Sucks. But it's not split in half. It's not a Spider-Man. One side doesn't need to be one color and the other side another color, so I'm good with this. The base body is Colossus in this costume that I don't care about at all, but it did come with this amazing bearded head sculpt that redeemed the whole thing. For Ronan, there is a new torso, a new belt piece with some hangy downs, new head, shoulder pads, hammer. Not super classic, but classic enough. It's kind of that astonishing X-Men effect where they take an iconic look and modernize it or maybe it's an actual look from someplace else that i don't know about but the, in my head this is classic ish amazon exclusive deluxe type packaging 38.99 which hurts because the base body colossus was originally offered as a standard figure with a build a figure piece if you're interested link is in the description and that's it for this week that's all i've got if you want to see any of these pictures up close without me all counting down things oh and this and this and this and this and this and this i'll be posting all of that along with links to pre-orders more information on the foosh front page <laughs> see i did it <laughs> just now i didn't even realize i did it i'll be posting all of that foosh front page saturday at noon but if you can't wait that long links are in the description <laughs> i came to a realization this week for a long time it's plagued me that i talk about things that i don't buy and i kept thinking well, if I don't buy them, if I don't have any experience with them, how can I talk about them? But then I realized it's kind of like going to a car lot and just looking at all the cars and being, holy mo look at that one, that one's awesome. I sure would like to own that, but I can't buy all the cars, but I like that one and that one and that one's shiny and that one's red and that one's over whatever colors, that one goes fast. In that scenario, it's easy to think of me as the car salesman, but I ain't trying to sell you shit. I'm just showing you what you may be interested in and at the same time, what I may be interested in. And we're just going on a journey together to the car lot. Maybe I'll buy a new car, maybe I won't. But we're just friends. I'm that friend you call who keeps track of cars, but not really. Well, I don't know a lot about it, but I'd buy it, but I'm an idiot. So I guess it boils down to just because you don't buy something doesn't mean you can't appreciate it. And I love toys, all aspects. So. Even the things that I don't have in my hand, 
or never plan to have in my hand, I can still look at and go, you did a good job, company. Or maybe that's not my cup of tea, but somebody's going to like that. So here it is. Ba -ba. If you enjoyed this Foosh Weekly, comment, like, subscribe. Much, much love to the plus if you're interested in seeing videos early or in a position to help out the channel. Patreon.com. But wherever you may be watching this, I'll always catch you on Foosh. Oh, and the shirt. I finally got my last Loot Crate box. That along with my Mezco 112... I'm still doing this. My Mezco 112 Collective Crow Figure Processing, which it's been doing for a couple weeks, but it's a step closer. I, I count that. And the Walmart exclusive Star Wars Black Series Halloween Werewookie shipping. I actually got shipping notice on that. It's just Christmas miracles. Now, I know that's not everybody's experience with that damn Walmart Werewookie, but mine shipped. I don't know what the deal was. I, I don't know why they canceled some and not others. It's Walmart. And now that mine shipped, my Walmart's be full of them. Watch. That's just how it works. If mine had been canceled, never would have saw it. Although I just did notice Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store put them up for order at some point. So at least there's some backups.